There's actually a couple different ways to add units to a major unit deal inside of Lizzie. The, the first way is probably the most common, which is that you're going to sell things that you have in stock and you want to actually add those to the system or to the invoice. So to do that, we're just going to click on the add unit button and we're on a major unit deal. I, I kind of skipped that part, but we're, we've created a new major unit sale and we're adding a unit to the invoice. From here, we can actually type in the model, the, the model number, stock number, or pretty much anything we want. Um, this control, when it comes up, has actually been enhanced in the latest version of Lizzie to where now you have the ability to actually add multiple models or multiple units on the fly without having to, to add one, reopen, add the next, and so forth. Um, now you can just simply hit add, 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 and it'll throw all three of them in the background on, onto the invoice. So in this case, I can see here uh, a couple models that we have here that are not actually on existing deals, which are what the color coding is telling me. Uh, anything in yellow is actually letting me know that those items are on deals, and it gives me the invoice number that they're associated with. So from here, I have the ability to add a single item. So let's just add this and close the control. That's the only one that I want to sell. And you can see the information is added there to the invoice. Now I'm going to delete that off. And we're going to go back in and add unit again. And we're going to, and I'm putting in a wild card character here because I want to see all of the models that are in here. I don't know a specific VIN number. So at this point, I want to add more than one unit. So I'm going to add these two new units to the invoice. So I'm just going to select the add button. And then you'll notice that it has turned yellow because it's now on my deal. And I'm going to go ahead and add this second unit here as well. So now you can see both of those have turned yellow. And if I close this control, you can see now that both of the units have been added to this invoice. Now, in addition to doing this, if I go ahead and delete these back off, Another thing that you can do is you can sell units that you actually don't have in stock at all. Maybe it's a new unit that hasn't come in yet. Maybe you've never stocked it before and this customer wants you to order one for him. Uh, but you can do that with the add unit by model. And now this particular control does not look at your current inventory. It's basically going to open up the model number control that you've seen in other parts of the application. Um, let's say that I want to add a CBR 1000. Um, and you'll also notice here we have something that we didn't have in the in the previous control in that we can actually add a quantity. So where in this case, I'm not actually looking for a specific unit. I'm looking just to add a model maybe to do a quote. Um, I'm not really interested in tying up a VIN number for this person yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let's say that we want to add two of this particular unit. Now you can see over on the right that Lizzie's telling me that I actually have one of those on hand right now. The customer wants two of them. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to add two of these items to the invoice. So we're just going to select the add button. And now we've got that, that unit added here twice. Now, another thing that you can see a little bit different here is that in this case, Lizzie knows, first of all, that we have one of them in stock. So for the one that we have in stock, you can see there's actually an attach unit button that will pop up and allow me to search for the VIN number to actually select that unit to add to the deal. Or I can go ahead and place an order for both of them where it'll tie a purchase order to this particular unit and hook everything together for you. So she's smart enough to know that, that you have inventory or you don't, but she still gives you the ability to go and order it if you want to. Um, maybe they, they want to just go ahead and order both of them so they can get them at the same time, uh, whatever. Um, you have the ability to, to select and choose that any way you want. So just to recap, you have the ability to attach a specific unit. You can now attach more than one unit at a time. Uh, and then you also have the ability now to attach by sp strictly by a model number. And as you can see, even if you have them in stock, you can still attach it by the model number. And then when you attach the unit, it'll actually link it up to the, the one that's in stock.